Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this eTrailer RV surface mount dinette table with one leg. Now this RV dinette table is going to be the perfect place for your friends and family to gather in your RV's dining area. And this has been designed to provide a strong yet stylish upgrade to the dining area in your RV. This table is made here in the USA with an ultra strong, high density EPS foam tabletop core that is going to ensure durability and stability. And this table does indeed feel uh, very solid. Uh, doesn't feel like it's going to uh, flex or bend. Uh, it's a, a very durable feeling table and it's also going to be a very manageable table if you need to um, uh, move this table around or stow it. It's going to be uh, very easy to manage. Now if you notice here we have this edge banding that's going to reinforce the uh, sides of this table and it runs of course around the entire perimeter of this table. So that banding is going to seal moisture out, preventing this tabletop from potentially peeling or cracking or warping. So you're not gonna to have to worry about spills on this table, uh, potentially damaging this table. Now I have, uh, uh, for our time together, a cherry laminate finish. Uh, that is one of my favorite finishes, but we do also offer some other uh, color um, finish options for you as well. So in addition to the cherry, as you see there on your screen, we have this available in maple and white. And so whichever finish is going to work best for the dining area in your RV, uh, all you have to do is pick that one from our website. And not only do you have your choice of finish, but you have your choice of trim. And as you can see there, we have a color matching option and also a black trim. So uh, on, on my table, as you can see, we have the black trim, not the color matching option. And the black trim uh, really does provide a, a nice uh, sharp look in contrast to this cherry finish. So again, whichever option works best for you, uh, we will have it. Additionally, we have different sizes available on this table. So on your screen, I am listing the various sizes uh, that you can pick this table up in. And the table that I have here is uh, the 42 inch long option. And of course, all of our tables are 30 inches wide. And I'm just going to stand on this pallet. We have this uh, installed on a, a pallet just to kind of give you an idea of what this is going to look like mounted. So of course this is going to be a more stable in the floor of your RV. But I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, you kind of kind of see the height of this table. It comes up to about the middle portion of my upper leg. And so whichever size is going to work best for you, depending on the space that you have uh, in your dining area, will have uh, just what you need. Now taking a look uh, at the lower portion uh, of this table, this is a surface mount installation. So this steel table leg is going to mount directly to your floor with the included bracket and hardware. And this leg is going to include a bracket for uh, mounting uh, underneath your table to secure that and then a bracket right here at the base to secure to the floor and then that uh, table leg will just slide into the base and then into the bracket of your table. And uh, again, this is the one leg option, but if you would like uh, a table with a little more uh, stability, we also have a two leg option available as well. Now I have my tape measure here and let me go ahead and just give you a measurement of um, from uh, the bottom of our table to the floor, just to give you an idea of the clearance here. So as I hope you can see there, we are sitting right at about 28 and a half inches of clearance from the bottom of the table to the floor. And again, this is a surface mount option where it's going to install directly to your floor. We also have a recessed mount option available that uh, where your table leg is going to install into the floor. And I do want to point out that on the recessed mount option, because the leg is going into the floor, you will lose about two inches of clearance 
between the bottom of the table and the floor. Now the table can be removed from the leg and that's going to give you the ability to um, uh, provide a, um, a, uh, an area for your uh, fold-out bed. So the table can be easily um, removed. So let me go ahead and do that here. So as you can see, the table comes uh, right off the leg. And again, it's, uh, even though it's a very strong, durable table, it's uh, lightweight and manageable. And then you can go ahead and remove the uh, leg from the base. Again, this is a, a steel leg, and I took some measurements earlier. The overall height of the table leg itself is 27 inches tall, and the diameter is two and a half inches. And our base here on the floor, uh, the, the diameter of this base measures right at six and five sixteenths inches. Now this uh, table leg, I do want to point out, has two caps, one on either end and kind of a, a plastic material. And so that's just going to prevent metal running uh, up against uh, each other when it's in the, um, in the base and the bracket there. So it's going to be uh, relatively uh, cushioned there. And um, I'm gonna put my leg back there and I wanna take a look here at the bottom of our table real quick. So let me turn this around here and zoom in a little bit so you can see here. Now the center of this table has an internal 26 gauge galvanized steel screw plate that runs 30 inches long and 10 inches wide. And that plate is going to assist with screw retention when you are attaching uh, the bracket for your table leg. Now we have these stickers here, and uh, I do have some holes uh, on, on uh, these sides here just because I had um, two legs installed here previously, so this will not come uh, pre-drilled. That's just from a previous installation. But these stickers here at the bottom of the table are suggested areas as to where to mount the legs if this, uh, for instance, happens to be a new install in your RV. Um, and also, I just want to point out that we recommend not making pilot holes into the table during installation, but just to screw directly into the table through the plates as you are installing uh, your brackets. So again, the stickers are simply recommendations as long as you stay within the 30 inch long to 10 inch wide area, uh, you will make contact with that internal steel plate. So this table is going to be uh, very easy then to put back into place. So I already have my leg installed. And let me go ahead and line this up real quick. And it's going to be just as simple as that. So if you are looking for an option to consider, to uh, upgrade the dinette table in your RV dining area. This is going to be a great option for you to consider. And uh, speaking of options, we're gonna have a variety of options, as I mentioned, in regards to the color of the table, the trim, and the leg options, and even the mounting options. So you can check all that out here at our website. Well, that's gonna conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.